today's video is about mushrooms and kidney disease and not the mushrooms that you would cook up that you would saute bake grill and eat we're talking about mushrooms in supplement form therapeutic mushrooms that have been grown to a certain consistency so they have certain properties which really help support kidney health now when it comes to mushrooms in supplement form there's a lot of them a lot of different mushrooms uh, reishi turkey tail mataki the one that I find with the most research and most studies and the most therapeutic is cordyceps. Cordyceps, the mushroom for kidney disease, cordyceps sinensis, which you can find pretty easily online or locally. And if you haven't, make sure to subscribe to our channel. This is Robert Galarowitz, Healthy Kidney Inc., where we give great, good information to help you have better kidney health. So we get questions, and one we're getting lately is about cordyceps. Now, cordyceps is very therapeutic. I'm gonna go back to a study just to show you how much research and how old this is. This is in the Cochrane Library. It's a very big database that publishes studies. And it's from December uh, 18, 2014. Cordyceps sinensis, a traditional Chinese medicine for treated chronic kidney disease. And so they looked at, it's like over a thousand people because they looked at 22 studies. And they looked at all the results, how it was conducted, and they determined at the end that cordyceps sinensis can be a great, additional add-on to any conventional therapies that you're having so want to mention that there this is in addition to whatever conventional therapies because the best results that you'll ever see is when you combine the best of both worlds natural diet holistic uh, and then with along with the best of conventional medicine so that was the main thing there about using the cordyceps in addition to whatever conventional medicine you're using and that it can shown to help uh, it can help shown to help diabetic kidney disease. It can help proteinuria. It can help uh, lower your creatinine. It can help increase the GFR. It can help a lot of complications. So as I take a look here, I mean, they really had a big list of things that'll help. Uh, it can help your hemoglobin, your serum albumin, uh, increase creatinine clearance. So just real positive good things about cordyceps. So before you go and decide to buy cordyceps, just make sure that you're taking care of what I call the basics of kidney health. So meaning, let's say you got diagnosed with kidney disease, you don't wanna jump and go take cordyceps first. Not that you can't take it, it's just that you wanna look at the other areas that are gonna show a really big benefit, like your diet, the basic uh, nutrients, uh, the basic essential nutrients that you need, like vitamin D, B12 levels, folic acid, vitamin E. And once you have those straightened out, cordyceps can be a great addition. Okay, now if you get cordyceps, you're gonna wanna use, um, I would recommend anywhere around 1500 milligrams two to three times a day. You could increase it to 2000 milligrams um, two to three times a day. I would keep it under the six grams, unfortunately, you know, the studies that use and to really show results show that you gotta take a higher amount. And a lot of brands out there, a lot, a lot. So there is no one perfect cordyceps. Uh, you know, you wanna try it, test before and after with your blood work to see the results. Give it at least like 60, 90 days with cordyceps. But there's one brand that's um, hailed in the supplement world as being really good. One of the top brands and that's Host Defense Mushrooms. Just gonna turn around my laptop host defense mushrooms that's cordyceps uh, they're a really high quality respected brand where they've used a lot of their research at even major um, cancer centers and cancer studies they use their products uh, in the study so very high quality brand that's just one of many out there there's a lot now foods pure encapsulations doctors best douglas labs i mean the list goes on and on but that's just one good one uh, make sure to do before and after blood work if you're going to include that and uh, like, subscribe, ask questions. We always get back to everybody in the comments. And to your best kidney health, everyone. Bye.